Welcome to Skywarn, severe weather training from NOAA's National Weather Service in Bismarck, North Dakota. I'm John Paul Martin, your warning coordination meteorologist. In this segment, we'll talk about NOAA's National Weather Service, who we are and what we do, Skywarn, it's been around since the 1970s, and what's it all about? And the importance of weather spotters and their reports. The National Weather Service is a federal government agency. We're in the executive branch of the federal government in the Department of Commerce. Our parent organization is NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Here's a picture of the office. We're on the airport property in South Bismarck. Here's our forecast and warning area. We serve 36 counties and three tribal nations in western and central North Dakota. There are 122 field offices in the National Weather Service, of which Bismarck is one. And our area of responsibility is the ninth largest by land of those 122 offices. Skywarn is volunteers like you who are trained to observe and report severe weather and stay safe. You're supporting the mission of the National Weather Service, which is to protect life and property, and we are building a weather-ready nation. The National Weather Service does not encourage storm chasing. Skywarn is truly a group effort from fire and rescue to law enforcement, and from your local emergency manager to the North Dakota Department of Emergency Services. Ham radio operators are a critical component of the Skywarn program, along with broadcast meteorologists. You too can be a part of this important group. Your commitment as a spotter is to be proactive and contact the National Weather Service when you observe significant weather. Our offices are 24-7, 365. We never close. And also you can expect an occasional call from us during reasonable hours, especially after thunderstorms go through your area. We'll be wanting to know if you had any hail, high wind, or any other severe weather, including flooding or tornadoes. You can report to us on social media. We're on Facebook and Twitter. Through the telephone, our phone number is 701-223-4582, and there's an online reporting site on our webpage at weather.gov slant BIS, or Bismarck spelled out. Your report could be the first indication of severe weather. You help us decide whether or not to warn on a storm, and you add lead time to those warnings, and you add credibility. And again, we're 24-7, 365, so you can contact us day or night. Here's a map of our weather spotters from the area south of Bismarck, Mandan, across parts of Morton, Sioux, and Grant counties. You can see we have a lot of weather spotters, but there are also gaps on the map, so we're always looking for more. Accurate reports are critical. Report the facts as you know them to the best of your ability. Late reports are better than no report. For tornadoes, we're interested to know if it's truly a tornado. If that finger sticking down from the thunderstorm that's spinning is actually on the ground or not. If there is rotation, we need to know exactly what's rotating. Is it persistent? How is it rotating? Is it rotating about a vertical axis? For hail, we want you to report all hail to the National Weather Service, and in that report include the size of the largest stone. Wind speeds are very hard to estimate. We ask you to report speeds from thunderstorms 40 miles an hour and higher, and of course any damage at all being done, no matter how minor. For hail, don't report marble size hail because marbles come in all different sizes. Reference coins or balls, something we know the size of generally, or better yet use a ruler and measure the stone. Again report the size of the largest stone. The National Weather Service issues severe thunderstorm warnings for large hail, and by definition large hail 
is one inch in diameter or larger. A quarter is one inch in diameter. So if this is your yard after a hailstorm, after a thunderstorm goes through, what size hail do I report? Well, pick out the largest stones and measure the size of the largest and report that. Wind speeds are difficult to estimate, very hard to do. At 40 miles an hour, generally whole trees move. At 50 miles an hour, small tree branches may break. At 60 miles an hour, small tree trunks may be snapped or the tree uprooted. At 70 and 80 miles an hour is where structural damage starts and large tree trunks are snapped or large trees are uprooted. The National Weather Service issues severe thunderstorm warnings for high thunderstorm wind and the definition of wind with respect to a severe thunderstorm is 58 miles an hour or higher. The official equipment that measures wind speed measures in nautical miles per hour or knots and 50 knots is the same speed as 58 miles an hour. For flooding, is it urban or rural? How deep is the water? Is it standing or flowing? Is there property damage being done? How deep again is the water? Are roads closed or washed out? Is the creek that used to run under the road now flowing over the top? is water spilling out of ditches onto the roads. These are all important to include in your reports of flooding. Rain of one inch or more from a thunderstorm can cause some flooding. So we ask you to report the amount of rain you received if you have a rain gauge. River flooding is important to report and also ice jams that may lead to flash flooding. During the winter time and when there's fog, we ask you to report for winter storms during the event, during the storm. Keep us posted on how much snow has fallen. And also at the end of the storm, what's your total snowfall? It's difficult to measure snow in North Dakota because of the wind. Measure in a sheltered area and take several measurements, maybe 10, and then average them out, being careful not to measure snow drifts. Ice is important to report, sleet or freezing rain, any impacts on travel, and if there's damage to power lines or trees. Dense fog is dangerous, and we ask you to report low visibility in dense fog. When you report, you want to tell us who you are, what is it that you're reporting, report exactly what you see, avoid terms like rotation, tell us what is rotating and how is it rotating. Tell us where you are, and more important, where is the event occurring? For example, I'm calling from Williston, and I see a tornado 15 miles north of Williston. That's different than a tornado right in the city. We want to know when the event happened. Maybe it's happening right now, or maybe you got in a late report, and it happened sometime earlier in the day. That's important information to include. Again. We're on social media, Facebook and Twitter. You can call us or check out our online reporting system at weather.gov slant BIS or Bismarck spelled out. I want to thank you so much for watching and ask you to stay weather ready.